All right, today I'm joined by my friend Mini Mooka, who you might know as the cheeky little fella, which helped me out in the diamond play button video. But basically, we recently did a live Q and A answering your questions about the biggest things on my channel, which was basically play buttons and Mr. Beast. This Q and A was hosted on the App Stereo, who have also sponsored this video. We also did an entire show, which doesn't include any questions featured in this video, which you can listen to by clicking the link in the description, downloading the app, and following it. And I'll even be doing some more stereo shows in the future as well. Anyway, if there's been something you've been wondering about my channel, it's probably about to get answered in this video. Enjoy. Okay, so we're going to answer some questions about the Play Button series, but before we do, I wanted to reminisce on our Diamond Play Button video, Mini. Hey, it was a good video. So it was a great video. It was probably the biggest video I uploaded last year. Something that no one has ever found out is that you forgot to record your screen. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> When we were buying the diamond play button. So the actual buying part, Mini didn't record. Poor Becky, who was editing the video, had to really, really faff on and just like fake that part of the video. We recorded our webcams, but Mini forgot to record his screen where he actually like entered in his information and clicked like add to basket and stuff. It was a bloody nightmare for poor Becky, but the video still turned out okay, so we were fine. Hey, I'd say you what, Becky done a killer job. Shout out to Becky. Yeah, she did nail that video. Any imperfections on the play button? So the diamond play button does actually have a hair under the diamond part. <laughs> Not a red one, is it? No, that was there when I got there. I don't know who it belongs to. Do you think, Minnie, we should get our stereo show proper side and answer some questions from people? Definitely. What has been your best moment as a YouTuber? Is it like the golden play button? Is it the diamond play button? Or is it something completely different? Best moment from the play button series. I think it's got to be the diamond play button, really, just because that's the kind of thing that no one's ever done. Like, we were the first channel under 10 million to actually get our hands on one of them. And the way we pulled it off and even like KSI's reaction to the whole thing was just unbelievable. He still subscribes to the channel to this day because of that. I'll tell a little bit of an inside scoop here. Jack was very nervous about how KSI was going to react. Can you remember? He was like proper yeah, flapping. I was a bit nervous. Mini, he's a big fella, is KSI. <laughs> I'm not that much of a big fella, truth be told. I've sang Lamborghini with uh, KSI on stage. <laughs> Have you? Genuinely. I've sang Lamborghini, a song La Lamborghini. I was definitely nervous, so when I got to watch his video, I went on a little holiday to Wales. I watched his reaction in a little caravan in Wales. What was your reaction when Mr. Beast messaged you? Mr. Beast, obviously, he's in the US, and he messaged at 3 a.m. I was fast asleep, me, dreaming about, you know, this and that. So I just saw a DM from Mr. Beast. Prior to that, he wasn't even following us on Twitter or anything. And all he said, was, I have a proposal for you. I mean, that was incredibly exciting at that point. I didn't think he'd want to give me $100,000. I assumed maybe he wanted to purchase my PewDiePie briefcase or my KSI diamond play button, something like that. I did not think that he wanted to start, like, a big challenge that he doesn't really get anything out of it. It was absolutely insane. What's your favourite play button you have at the moment, and how many do you have? First, we'll do just total play button number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh no, 16! Diamond Team Award, Mini. Forgot about the cheeky fella. What do you think of him? Ooh, very nice. 16 that I've just got my hands on, but in terms of how many I've actually, like, earned, because obviously I have not earned 10 million subscribers and I am not KSI, just in case you were getting mixed up. So ones that I've actually earned. 10 out of 16, Mini, what do you reckon? You've got that many play buttons, you've literally just scribbled on one. What's that one on the back? I just drew all over it because I dropped me green screen on it a while ago. So it had a big bump on it, so I thought I'd cover it up with a few scribbles here and there. What are you planning to do with your part of the money when you hit a million subscribers on the Don't Subscribe channel? $20,000 is going straight to charities. I assume we'll just split it up between, I don't know, maybe 10 or 20 different charities. I suppose it could just be spread out in terms of when they get that money. Quite a bit's gone to... Fiverr, quite a bit's gone to Cameo. The rest, I don't really know. I kind of just want to hang on to whatever I get left after taxes. I reckon Becky and I could go on a nice long weekend, little Airbnb, to celebrate Wales? a million subscribers. We could do Wales. You see these YouTubers going to Dubai? You see these YouTubers going to Bali, but Jack Massey Welsh goes to Wales. Get me to Keswick, there we go. And Mini Mooka, for some reason, in video number one of the Don't Subscribe series, I promised you that you'd get the $2,000 that you missed out from, from Mr. Beast two years ago. And I've said I'll put that all on red on a roulette wheel. I think that's a terrible decision, but not my money. <laughs> it's Mini Mookas. Just wondering about the gold OG play button. Is there any updates on that? OG gold play button is the play button that came out in 2012. It's the first one that they gave away and it's like absolutely massive and it's real 24 karat gold plating. It's absolutely unreal. So I want to get my hands on one of them at some point. Basically, everyone that's got one, because they've been around so long, they're all like multi-millionaires. They're not really bothered about like selling it to me for a few grand, you know what I mean? Even though I don't currently have an OG 
OG gold play button on the way. A little bit of a stereo exclusive here, Mini Mooka. Oh. I have got, delivered today, not opened yet, the black framed gold play button that was around from like 2016 to 2018 or something. I know you're dropping some big bucks for this, Jack. There's no <laughs> way you're getting this on the cheap. How much do you think I'll pay for it, Mini? I think it's somewhere in the region of $7,500. Oh, no, no, no. You're talking OG gold play button money there, Mini. £57. It's somewhere in between £57 okay. and £7,500. That's all we'll say for now. That's all we'll say. How much have you spent on play buttons? Oh, Christ. Do you reckon you could add up how much you've spent on all your play buttons? Mini, I've not done this before, and I'm a bit scared of what the answer would be. Oh, yeah. Get your calculator, Mini. Let's see what we could do. Go on. Because obviously most of the play buttons were free. So we'll go with the silver and gold letters. I guess they count. So they were, I think, $49.56. And then replacement, silver play button for Jack Sucks at Life, purchased 2019. That was $200 with shipping. 200 Yellow Swellow 2017 silver play button. Button. I way overpaid. That was $900. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, all right. Hang on a minute. Add on an extra 50 customs as well. And there's another 50. Diamond Team Award. I've not announced this anyway. Well, yeah, that was $900 as well. Ooh, is that another stereo exclusive? <laughs> it bloody is a stereo exclusive. Do you want the golden number? I'm not finished, Mini. Oh, mate. no. Okay, now we're getting to the big ones. PewDiePie's briefcase. That's a big deal, that one. But obviously, that's going to be expensive. Converted into dollars. That was about $1,900. I spent $100 on this cardboard box. Oh, no. It was this box. Yeah, this box was on eBay, hundred dollars. I was gonna say the other one looked quite warm. <laughs> so finally, you've got to add the diamond play button. Do you remember how much that cost? I remember it was three thousand dollars, and it was a killer postage. The postage was about yeah. one hundred and fifty. The postage was one hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. So get them added on, and then I think that should be about everything. Do you want the golden number for how much you have spent on play buttons, Jack? Add on two thousand six hundred, Billy, for something that's not arrived yet. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars you've spent on play buttons. Mm, Christ. Have either of you had? any consequences from getting the diamond YouTube play button. I then to them bash me play button in when I arrived to try and get a free one. So the guy who works for Society Awards, he sent me the link to my video after I said it's broke and he hasn't responded to me since. I think I'm all right with them. To be honest, I think you're probably in a better position than I am. I've really faced the wrath of Society Awards, unfortunately. You weren't able to get a replacement when you tried to scam them, which to be fair, that's fair enough. Me. <laughs> I did try and scam them. I think Society Awards personally are okay with me, but YouTube told them that anytime I reach out to Society Awards, Awards now, so if I wanted to purchase a replacement play button, they have to just forward that request straight to YouTube. It's up to YouTube whether to do anything. I mean, I've reached out to them 10 times over the last seven months. Every single time Society Awards pass my little request onto YouTube, and then YouTube ignore me. I know the diamond play button you didn't name, but... I understand with the diamond play button, you could be frustrated at us. I think that the thing they were worried about was my series was devaluing the worth of play buttons a little bit. I feel like I hold them in such high regard that that's not something I've done. I always make such a big thing about receiving each play button. Have you humped the diamond play button yet? Like KSI? Have I hugged it? Humped. Have I humped it? I've licked humped. it, Mini. Hump. Stop saying hump. <laughs> Mr. Beast updated you guys on anything throughout this? Mr. Beast's a busy fella. I'm always a bit scared to message him. So I messaged him when I wanted to change my profile picture. He got back to me, you know, at 3 a.m. once again and he said, a toilet. So I was like, all right, thank you. And then the next time I messaged him, uh, you were involved in that one, Minnie. Do you remember what happened? Proper embarrassed you. I made Jack believe that Mr. Beast reached out to me. Why would he reach out to me, by the way? <laughs> that was my first mistake. I had to give 10 grand away to each of my friends. Alarm bells should have been ringing already. Minnie Mooker and 10 grand doesn't add up. <laughs> <laughs> I told him if he completed this parkour, which was impossible, he gets 10 grand. And he didn't. So at the end of the parkour, he <laughs> messaged Mr. Beast the screenshot. So I sent a picture of me... <laughs> in Minecraft and the caption crying right now to Mr. Beast with 50 million subscribers and 10 million Twitter followers. I've been thought about maybe getting play buttons from different countries. Ah, yes, because it says like different languages. It doesn't say for passing 100,000 subscribers. It says, you know, that in German. Yeah, I would actually love to do that. Even all the letters are translated into like 40 different languages. Is German the go-to language you'd want? I don't know, maybe one of like Japanese or something, just so it just oh. looks totally different. What play button do you want the most? Obviously the big ones are the OG gold play button. You've got to think, Mini, there is a hundred million red diamond play button out there. You could dream. What's the jail time for robbing a museum? I don't know. I think it's legal in France. Everyone's legal in France, isn't it? <laughs> So will you actually be getting the play buttons when it reaches a mill? If you're a play button expert, you will be aware that getting a play button for a YouTube channel that doesn't actually have any videos is tricky, which is what we found out when Turdboy420 got to 100k subscribers. But I would assume that because it's Mr. Beast, I assume if he specially requests 
the play buttons, YouTube will happily give him them. Mr. Beast's made YouTube a pretty penny already. I think he'll be fine getting a play button for a channel with no videos. If you could create any play button you wanted, what would it be? Something that's always bothered me in the YouTube Awards game, Mini, is the award that Seth Everman got for the most liked comment. Have you ever seen it? No. YouTube sent him an award because he managed to get a million likes on a YouTube comment. It's just a proper naff looking award. It's so ugly. It's just like a frame with text. There's not even any pictures or anything on it. And he had the most liked comment. So obviously he should have like a giant thumb. So I've always thought that that should have been what that looked like. And I've always considered maybe recreating it and like making my own version of it to maybe send to him if he wanted it. But I can put the thumbs up one. Copy a list. It should be blue. The same colour as like when you click like. Yeah, that's not a bad idea actually. Will you ever stop making YouTube channels? I would imagine so. Because I've made a lot of YouTube channels at this point, I need to make sure that if I'm making another YouTube channel, it's for a good reason that's different to the previous. I don't want it to just get old and repetitive and a bit annoying. Obviously, the purpose of the most recent channel, Jack Sucks Eclipse, was so that we could beat our own world record before somebody else did. I think after that, I'll go easy. I think I'd be quite happy for someone else to take my record after that. Hey, I've got a world record. You do? Longest toenail. <laughs> No, I done a world record years ago with water aid. Me and Jason Bradbury broke it. So what was the record again, really? The most water passed between cups. <laughs> Give you an idea of what type of giveaways you're going to do for the 900k. So the 900k forfeit is Mr. Beast style donating money to subscribers. So I was thinking I could do donating to Twitch streamers because obviously that's something that he was really successful with. I just wanted to do loads of different things and I wanted it to be quite a snappy video. That'd be really cool. Go on. Go down your local ads and just give someone a grand. I think you overestimate my uh, my confidence and charisma. I would love to see you do that. That would be <laughs> the best thing ever. Or even pay for someone shopping. You would be so awkward. Oh man, I can feel myself going red thinking about going to Asda and doing that. Did you expect that you were ever going to get this many subs on Don't Subscribe? No. So the channel, it got to 200,000 within 24 hours, which was just like the most insane thing I'd ever seen. It absolutely smashed all previous records. But then obviously the climb from 200 to 300, that was a few days. And then the climb from 300 to 400 was a few weeks. So I basically thought that I'd probably be able to get to about 500,000 and then maybe call it a day because it was just growing very slow. It was getting like less than a thousand subscribers a day But then released a couple of videos that did well and it picked back up again And before I knew it it was getting close to 600 and I was thinking we've got this far Maybe I should start getting some of the youtubers involved see if they could like shout the channel out or something But before I knew it I was getting close to 700 myself And then it's just kept going to the point now where we're so close to that 1 million that I kind of want to just See if we can get there just with the jack sucks at life world rather than messaging Tommy in it and asking him to give us a shout out on Twitter or something because I just feel like I'd earn it more and I can if you're struggling, one shout out on a Tommy in a stream would get you there. What I will say is a Tommy in a shout out is not beneath me, but I will take it if things go that way. Last question of today's show. You know what, Minnie? You do the honours. Oh, I missed. Oh my god, be careful, be careful. Are you planning on doing another GeoGuessr in real life video? Do you know what, Minnie, I reckon me and you could have a delightful time playing GeoGuessr in real life. I reckon me and you could do that. It's just a shame that the first video didn't do amazing, because that makes me, like, more reluctant about doing another one, because it would presumably get less views than the first one. Alright, so that's it for today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy. I've got some updates on my world record, which will hopefully go out soon. And I have a very fancy play button, which I'm very excited to show you. So make sure to subscribe to Jack Sucks Life, because that video will also be out very soon. Remember, I did a third stereo show, which doesn't include anything from this video. You can listen to that by following us in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon for something else. Ba 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 ba.